I don't know, man. Does my Discord notification happen any faster? All right. Uh, what we're doing? Oh, yeah. Looking for Wolfman, who supposedly stole something from me, but I actually don't know what he stole, so there's that. And I could really use more alcohol. Do they not have any? Or do they just want me to use pills? I can use pills. That's fine. Yeah, maybe we just become a drug addict from here on out. Yeah, I imagine it is. Like, just from, like, a system diagram perspective, you'd have your local infrastructure that's, like, local to the streamer. So when you, when you turn about, like, or talk about event propagation, it makes sense that it kind of spreads out from whatever ingest server I'm using. So I think I'm connected to Toronto, which has a very close interchange with New York. If I had to guess, that's how I imagine it goes down. But I don't know. Okay, double barrel shotgun. This is gonna be a thing I wanna drive into eventually, right? So I probably wanna start collecting shotgun shells as well. So I need another long barrel. I don't think I'm ever gonna make a hunting rifle. Could probably get rid of some things. Whatever, this is fine. These pills are something I'm never going to use. Do I buy a long barrel? I don't think I do right now. I can't do anything about the, the upgrades right now. All right, I'm good. Let's go. We're gonna head to the the sawmill. I think that's what the wolf is talking about. Mushroom granny primitive map. I don't know. You had the worst three days of your life. I heard you took a swing and you missed, but you know what? Taking that swing requires more balls than most people. And there's what like five point. 5 billion women on this planet. <laughs> Find somebody else. Anyway, good for you for taking that uh, that plunge. Now, I don't know why it's three days, but maybe there's something else going on. Oh my gosh. Becomes another spider? Why? This is some Elden Ring crap right here. Amazing. Spin to win. Lingering feelings? Yeah. That's fair. Now, on the subject of remaining friends with somebody, I think that's probably okay i mean it's gonna be kind of awkward since you took a shot you know went where it did but these people have friends right you almost tore your bicep too were you doing preacher curls you haven't slept in 50 hours the only time i stayed up super late in any way like that was during a land competition it was to see who could stay up the latest I was up for 54 hours straight before we decided to just call it a tie at the end and <laughs> give up. You get very hungry just eating trash, borderline hallucinating. Okay, so this is where Wolfman said we were to meet. Why? If that's the case, you should get help, man. There's services and stuff that'll help you deal with that kind of stuff. Assistant? Gross. Like, you're American, right? What do we got? Yeah. So you're European? Anyway, if you're actually serious, there's a whole bunch of free numbers you can call to talk to somebody who understands this crap. Get it sorted out. This wolf man is not very happy with me. Mate, your lack of respect is appalling. Ignoring my request has a price. I don't even know what his request was. Know my generosity, you stray? What the hell? Take back everything you've taken without permission, which was what? All you need to do is give me some quality entertainment. Oh, before that happens, however, you'll need to hand over all your belongings to my assistant. What the crap? Do we do this chat? I don't want you to spoil the fun with your cheap tricks. You know what? Let's do it. Do I have to go in here naked? Sure. Let's party, man. And I'll be a giant cheater and eat one of these. Let's go. Oh, he gave me some stuff. That's nice. I have the gift. Let's do it. The deal is as follows. I mean, they didn't cost me anything, so maybe they're cheap. You will now provide me some quality entertainment by fighting my brothers. Your brother is great. And in turn, I will entertain you by playing on this violin I found recently. Oh. Oh, crap. Wait, are they just pissed that I killed literally everybody in their hunter area? Okay, did I not finish the game? Ah. Oh. I mean, that's cool, I guess. He's actually like some sort of werewolf. Ow. Extra ow. Come back here, man. Oh, he has such a jump. Hmm? Well, ow. I will shank you, man. This is very annoying. Not because I'm concerned about my death or anything, but... That's what you get. I hit like a woman. It's okay. Still messed you up. Wait, a wedding ring? Mm. Can 
Can I have my stuff back, please? Thank you. All right, let's get set back up. Yeah, something like this, like that. Bandages, mollies. Good enough. Well, that was fun. Do, 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 do. Violin, gramophone. It's kind of a nice place. Oh, nice. Good stash. Abu. Okay, I'll have to just go out of my way to get all this crap back to my base. Oh, a big tub of blood. Well, this is fun. And games. I have the sawmill key. The sawmill is now mine. And we can take the pills. Improve the stamina a little bit. Or a lot. Holy crap. Not a big fan of that noise, but okay. You know, I've never noticed that the screen kind of like jiggles a little bit as you run. Guess I've never really just taken off full bore. Aha! We are back. It's a lot of pills. That's good. I think those are going to start to replace my, well, everything else. The bandages and all that. I'll take this with me. Okay. No problem. Let's go back and loot the rest of that nonsense and then head west. Still trying to find some kit, I guess, and figure out what to do with Granny. And who made this road? Total trash. Ah, some trolley nonsense. There's the quarry. Now I'm exactly where I need to be. I can throw a bunch of raves in here. I guess I can show the violin to people now. Nice. Exploding barrels are kind of useless, but whatever. Okay. I kind of want to see what those holes are all about. I feel like it might be a fast travel way, kind of like the village. So it'll probably be pretty important. Weather blows, as is tradition. Mycelium everywhere. I have found the Great Lake. We're clearly in Ontario. Bold prediction for the future. There's a radio tower? What's this all about? The fence has been torn to shreds. Drag the crate. Nothing. Who's this? Oh, it's the doctor. The doctor turns his mud-covered head towards the sun and freezes. Then he spreads his arms along his sides. Warm. Doctor's looking worse. A chunk of mud falls down on his exposed tongue. He chooses slowly and swallows with satisfaction. Nah, yeah, you no longer into it. The doctor puts the muddy hand into his mouth, grimaces and pulls out a yellow tooth. He puts it into the pocket of his torn trousers. The tooth falls through a hole. He does not notice this. The doctor begins staring at a nearby tree trunk, paying no attention to the blood flowing between his lips. Oh, the ranges? The doctor approaches me. I can feel him embracing me. I hear his hoarse breath and smell his odor. I hear his whisper. Soon. Very soon. Not long from now. Slicing? Yeah. The doctor glances at me. He tilts his head sideways, lost in thought. It's like start from the end, go to two, going backwards. Is that what that says? He freezes. Slowly bends down and grabs a thick branch from the ground. He starts biting the bark off of it. He swallows the bark with an effort, but also great satisfaction. He places the stick among other ones sticking out of his mud-covered head. Man, this guy's heavy metal. Uh, I could use another long barrel, right? For the shotgun? Thanks, buddy. Flashlight and flares. Interesting. I like rags. More interesting than exploding barrels, for sure. Gasoline. Ironically, the rag is probably the thing that makes most sense to get rid of, just from a value perspective. Oh, I can't do that because the thing's in the way. Okay. You know what? Let's, uh, my inventory is full and I'm pretty sure there's going to be something important here. So let's go check out that hole. I'm hoping it does exactly what I think it does, which is just teleports me. That way I don't have to do the walk. Okay. Holes everywhere. Holes. Someone is inside this hole. I can barely make out his silhouette. Looks like a grown man with long disheveled hair. It's completely covered in mud. It's quite a wide tunnel. There are finger marks on the ground. It must've been dug out using bare hands. I wonder where it leads. Oh, that's extra convenient. Okay, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Let's go and drop stuff off. All right, so the flares can go away. This can all go away. Oh, I don't care about the ring. Long barrel is good, so that means I can make the double-barreled shotgun whenever I upgrade. And we got some stuff that I can sell for later. Do I need so many empty bottles? Maybe not, but I can stack them for now. And I think... We're good. Oh, so stormy. All right, let's uh, launch myself in the hole. Ah, what the hell? Your holes. I mean, that's fine, man. Enjoy your holes. Who am I <laughs> to stand between a man and his holes? All right, it's almost, almost five. That doesn't give me a ton of time to explore, but we'll give it a go anyway. Oh, this isn't right. Oh, there's a body here. Whatever. 
Do 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 There we go. Out on the way. Oh, Doctor Man's no longer here. Wonder just that. Yeah, whatever. They're sleeping, but any noise can wake them up. Okay, so we just molly them and remove the problem ahead of time. All right, now I can make all the noise I want. No, it's not connected. Or the eyeballs open right now. So I could throw a flare on top of that, I guess, if I had any. I have to consider carrying one around. Uh oh, it's six o'clock. Well, should be able to harvest some stuff at the very least. And we'll consider heading back. I'm out of mollies, which kind of blows. Oh, and banshee babies, man. Oh, well, that's an actual banshee. Well, that's unfortunate. I've made an error. There are so many. How do I deal with this? Why can't I attack? I'm just getting like stun locked in the corner here. It's so stupid. Okay, well, hilarious. <sighs> okay, well, I lost my watch and my other lantern. I guess I'll take a flare with me. Potentially to screw around with the eyeball things. I used pills, but they didn't really work out that well, did they? All right, that was extra lame. Guess I just sit tight. Oh, I lost all my batteries as well. Not a big deal. I guess I'll go get them later. For now, we just gotta chill. I may as well just sit tight in here. Hmm. Keep the light on, man. Hmm. Where's the banshee? Uh, where? Oh my god, not again. Oh my god, what the hell? So many. And they give you nothing. Well, I guess the bugs are kind of fun. Why did I put those mushrooms in there? Doesn't make any sense. Hello, Snowy. How's your day going? I already killed the banshees, I guess. Can you upgrade pistols? You can't, okay. Well, I'm not doing too bad. I never feel like there's enough time, but uh, I think that's the same for everybody. Just kind of taking a break. Get a little horror movie action in, basically. Somebody's stomping around here. Oh, gross. Yeah, it's true. How does one have time if they never take time? Oh, crap. It's poisonous nonsense. Yeah, it is kind of spooky. Day 30. Having all the time, all the fun. You know, let's, let's trade. You can have some mushrooms and some trash. And I will take the shotgun shell, pills, I guess, the rags. Do you have any alcohol? No? Yeah, I do play horror games from time to time. I don't mind them. Alien isolation and stuff. Okay, I think this is an all right start. Take one of these with me and we'll put the flashlight back on. You stop drinking alcohol? It's probably good for you. I haven't drank in a while. Alcohol has basically no redeeming qualities it is a reasonable stress relief mechanism but it's probably not the best one for sure classify and horror michael jackson what is that a song or a game all right let's go get all my stuff back it's a game weird perfect okay so part of the problem was i couldn't see crap so let's put on the the lamp the lantern and go get my stuff back banshee's dead Tiny stone, mushrooms, my backpack. Okay, I think that's fine. Don't know what I want to put in that slot though. Oh, I guess I can put the flares in there. Yeah, okay, so I got caught up in here, engaged in failure. I don't know what that is, but I'm just gonna murder it. Oh, it just like summons a bunch of kids and then dies. Okay, oh no. Okay, so the pills are not as long lasting as I would like. For sure. Just murdering children today. Living the dream. Banshee children. Well, let's just keep exploring around here. Let's see what we can find. Flying birds suggest to me that there are more banshees. Links are overrated. Okay. Did I kill all the banshees? I did not. I am the exterminator. I will go in that building in a minute here. Just take a look around. A molly, hell yeah. Whoops, I dropped it by accident. Mollies are fantastic. Are already dead. Oh, I was here. That jam always sends weird crap. Gotta manage my stamina here. Stop that wood. Oh, eyeball thing. Rest in peace, nerds. Oh my gosh. You are the darkness. Oh no! I've adopted the fire. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. How's the day going, Mr. Basics? It's okay, little kid. I'll put you out of your misery. We haven't slept again. Another madman came here at night. The second one this month. He jumped over the fence and tried to ram the door with his head. I shot him in the ass with the tranquilizer. Today we're going to transport him outside. Since that accursed tree appeared in the village, an increasing number of savages roam around our hideouts. How do they know about us? They're psychos. They can barely talk. The villagers in our sector still have no clue what's going on. It's been ten years or so. But when they lose it, 
All they need to do is go into the woods, put some mud on their face, and they come sniffing. Stefan told me that in the neighboring sector, the wild ones appear mainly in the vicinity of the hideout located near the tunnel entrance. I don't think it's a coincidence. You ran from it playing D&D? That's fair. I feel like running is an underrated decision, you know? It's kind of like the most rational, most rational option. Though when you don't actually die in real life, people don't choose it. I like the shiny stones. Gas isn't that useful, but it's a thing. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm going to be swapping on my lantern here in a minute anyway. So let's just do something like this. There, enjoy. So what the hell? Okay, I guess what I can do is I can just reload this. That'll give me enough room. Creepy stuff. Oh, that didn't work. This is fine. Or maybe it's not fine. I don't know. Oh, boy. <laughs> Back up. All right. Let's uh, eat a mushroom and then try to address this problem. Because I just have to do it. I am eating shrooms. I'm probably on mushrooms right now. I'm missing a few corpses. Man, this has been quite the adventure. But what? It's the other side. Let's grab this so we don't have to do that walk again. Damn it. Oh, is this connected to that eyeball back here? Like if I take out a flare. Enjoy. Sure. Oh, what do we got? Classify. Wait, is this the stuff that Mr. Dean was playing? I mean, I still haven't decided what I'm going to do for Halloween. Maybe I'll play some junk like that. Oh, what the heck? Why are there so many bodies? The real question is, how do I move this? I wonder what happened if I put a barrel next to it. I guess these crates are just for decoration. Some weird stuff. You're into horror games? There's one of those you like watching them more than playing them. I don't react that much to those sorts of things. All right, let's go explore the building. Wait, I just came out of the building, didn't I? This guy's having a good time. Dead savage. I don't have a code for this. Do I have a code for anything? You get spooked easy? So you're trying to have other people suffer? You think you remember the code to the door? Which code is that? 8684. 8684. Sure. 864. Eight, eight, underground entrance. Civilian radio. Do I go to the underground thing i don't think i'm gonna go there yet if only snowy what is going on in here anyway i spent almost the entire day walking through that place oh an axe blade cool get you out of your misery no there's no song requests not while i'm playing games okay, okay so if i go through there i'm gonna get stuck and it's almost time to head back to my hideout all right let's go dumpster our inventory explore this stuff we got the underground tunnel. Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh, down here. You're not wrong. He's where sanity goes to die. Uh, what? How do I get out of this potato fest? The hell? Man, they're not kidding with short time. What the heck? Oh, that was the... Okay, that wasn't what I thought it was. Isn't this backwards? How the hell do I get out of here? I think I'm going to die because I'm not going to be able to find my way back. Uh, and I don't have anything that really pushes the envelope for some things. I thought it was back this way. What the balls? No, I refuse to hydrate. I never hydrate. How do I get out of here? Ah, oh, here we go. Hey, Grave. I may not have left myself enough time to survive. It's getting real dark. That's how I like it. Nah, it'll be fine. It will be fine. Actually, I'll keep the gasoline on me. That looks all good to me. Yeah. Let's juice up the generator. Ah! I need a lantern. Okay. Now I can mess some people up. Did I not hit it? Because I can't shoot for crap. Oh, I did, but... Oh, it's not dead. I have no idea what killed them, but... I appreciate it either way. No, not really. It takes a lot to really get me to react. These flares are less exciting than I thought they would be. Ugh. Ah! Get out of here! Is that actually necessary? Wait. Okay. Let's go this way. There's a whole bunch of crap on the ground that I need to get rid of. Get out of here. Is that another banshee? Where? Over there somewhere. Super annoying. The handgun kind of blows. Whatever. It's just bad times in general. It's almost the morning. It's just shadow time right now. Twerk it. Twerking in a tense situation is always the way. Oh, we'll get rid of this. Stones. Goodbye, doggo. Oh my gosh, there's another one? Alien twerking is pretty sexy. It's true. All right. Well, let's get rid of that flashlight. The other flashlight. There's literally no reason to have so many damn flashlights. Pills. Shotgun shell. I'll take the wires, the rags. Actually, the rags? Well, I guess for bollies, they're useful. It's kind of running out of things that make any sense to me to buy anyway. I believe in you, Snowy. I do want the double barrel shotgun. I 
don't feel like maintaining armor actually is that useful. Mollies are pretty awesome. All right. Uh, yeah. What have we got? Still don't actually have a shotgun, but accumulating stuff makes sense to me. I don't have an oxygen tank yet. I have no way to make bandages of the alcohol variety. All right. Accept that. And then let's go. So it begins. Kind of hungry. I think I might, after the next day, go and throw some chicken nuggies in the air fryer. Pretty good. I'm really curious what's in that underground area. Grave combo breaker you. Get wrecked. Why are there so many banshees? C -c -c combo breaker. This doesn't look healthy. There's like sacrifices everywhere. Knife. Perfect. What is this? You screwed it up. I don't think there is anything else over here. Sack. Needs more cowbell. Weird drawing. Oh, these are definitely graves. Oh, you went with the tiny pyramid. Wow. So exciting. This looks healthy. Some sort of ritual site. Is there even anything here? Doesn't look like it. I guess this was just for the cowbell. Can head to the underground path. All right, let's do that. We got tons of time so far. I'm sure it's not going to feel like tons of time, but it's be good enough. Oh, it's a game, right? You got to be fast enough. Oh, this is literally just back where I came from, I think. Here we go. Whoop. Search the crate. 2,215 hours. Two people came via the tunnel from the hideout near village 3C. They were attacked. 2310 hours. The hideout near village 3C has been compromised. At least 12 locals have entered the hideout cellar. Mostly mud-covered savages. Three among them were wearing unusual clothing, weird rags. We lost one man. The door to the tunnels has been shut. None of the locals managed to break through further. We're getting ready for evac. 0130 hours. Evac successful. Doors locked with a code. We're going home. It is better, yeah. Okay. There is maybe a one-way road. So it probably definitely is a one-way road. Like, does it matter? I found a floodgate in the tunnel. I'm afraid I'll only have one shot of getting further down the passage. I feel like it will lead me to the right place. What? We're going to cheese it up a little bit here i want to know how one way this is all right so this is actually fairly major you got an air fryer for the first time i use my air fryer every day i just throw stuff in there like i can toss a burger in there or something set it up for 15 minutes and off i go let's explore the lake i also want to go see the go see the granny again not really used to an air fryer just think of it as like a tiny oven that's really all it is what is going on in here that's a buttons to push is uh pushing buttons your favorite pastime somebody's walking around what is this oh boy there's something going on here which doesn't seem great um damn it Okay, I don't have anything to deal with this darkness right now. Holy balls, that's a lot of crap. Uh-huh. Well, okay. Old rubber boots. Protection against poisonous substances in the ground. That's cool. All right. I like the idea of the rags. I guess I do need to carry around flares if I'm going to deal with this crap. Oh, I got alcohol. Wild. All right, we can make a bandage. And that'll let me get this stuff. Yeah, can go out the back door, maybe. Ah, oh, flares. Sick. Man, this place has lots of good stuff. Where is this even? All right. Uh, let's get rid of the torch. Torch is less exciting than I thought it would be. Kind of unfortunate. Man, I wish I had one more slot. Okay. Hello. All right damage to my face not that big of a deal to be honest actually i won't eat that one i'll eat this one and we'll go out and investigate i can take this and oh i did manage to kill them all that's fun what's going on in here just transformers blowing up all right i want to head back there are quests yeah but they don't seem to be mandatory it's just stuff going on okay so if i go to a little bit up north I'll have the way to get back. Perfect. Okay, I've got some thing to find some kid, and there's a bunch of other crap I didn't bother doing. All right. So I've got my lanterns. Definitely want to keep these around, I think. I don't care about the rubber boots that much. Another military flashlight. The knife isn't that useful. I've got all the drugs I could possibly want, I think. I'm missing something, aren't I? Eh, maybe not. Get another molly. All right, probably will need to get some armor. Exactly. I am a giant drug addict in this game. All right, we got some space. I can head back and collect the rest of the crap that I left in that area. I'm pretty sure that place is not 
just super stormy by default. All right, come at me, bro. It's probably a good thing. Oh, this place is super ugly. Fantastic. I hear you. Yeah, it's just a chopper. Not the worst, just annoying. All right, where's my most rotten one? There we go. Oh. Well, this makes it hard to see, doesn't it? A rusty tractor. Um, I don't need all this meat, so I'll throw one away. Take the metal pipe. Which I'm not even convinced is that useful, but see how things go. Ketchum is a giant drug addict. Oh, nice. Hello? Come here, McChompy. I knocked him over. That's, that's stupid. Okay. Hello? Moshi Moshi? Another battery. Doesn't even matter. Yeah. Shotgun shells. Yeah, nothing but trouble. What do we got going on around here? Hmm. All right, let's get out my flashlight. Can't really see as much around me, but I can see a lot farther now. All right, let's do that plus the lantern. Hello? Ugh, timer mechanics. Super duper annoying. Woo. All right, what do we got going on? Lots of rags. I'll keep the gasoline on me. Hills and stuff are pretty cool. My fabric's probably useless. Lots of ammo is always good. The mushrooms are probably gonna rot, but whatever. I'll just sell some of this crap. Let's go fill up the generator. Magical. She has barely any juice left in this thing. Guess I should just make another lantern. I already have a bunch. Yeah, okay. This will keep me a little healthier. So I'll eat one of these. Still not uh, completely certain how to deal with this. Is a flare enough? This is what we're gonna learn. It is enough. Okay. So flares are a big deal. It removes the immortality. It doesn't require a ton of effort on my part. I guess the other question is, can the military flashlight do the same job? Stupid doggos. Bad dog. It's gonna keep eating mushrooms. They are delicious. The flare actually lasts quite a while. I'm always stressed, man. Yeah. Nuts took the first today. What monster is that? Oh, it's a spider thing. Easy peasy. Doing so many mushrooms. Does gaming relieve the stress for me? I mean, it distracts me from it. I don't think it relieves it. Another one. Um. Okay. Guess we'll sell this. And this. It's gonna keep building up shotgun stuff. Day 32. I should do storytelling. The problem is it has to be something that's out of copyright, I guess. I think this is literally just buy ammo time. Take some of this. I guess the empty bottles are fine too. No reason to carry so much trash around. I guess I'll just buy the ammo because I can. Yeah, maybe, but I don't really want to roll the dice that hard. I mean, there's plenty of old books that are good. It's more a question of just spending the time to find one. All right, mollies are good. I've got the lanterns I need for everything. Got the flares to deal with the nonsense. I might just get rid of the flashlights, to be honest. They're fine. They're just not that functional. Because I don't think they they push the darkness off. Books. Yeah. All right. It's that zoomer education. All right. Let's repair the axe. I might repair this too. Yeah. May as well. All right. I'll be right back. All right. Got my air fryer fired up. I'll have a snack in about 10 minutes. What have I got? Okay, so what's the next plan? Still a ton of space I haven't gone through and I've never finished the village. Oh, I basically devoured my entire lantern, I guess, while I was standing there. Whatever. Not that big of a deal. That's kind of annoying. Let's go. I still don't have a way to repair a compressor yet either. So if I was going to read a book, what genre would it be? Okay, so this place has some dude with a wheelchair and a bunch of other creepy crap. Hazal's books, like just sex and stuff. I don't think that's really in line with my brand, man. Uh, thief everywhere. Okay, thief. A photo, grab the wire. <laughs> she moaned too hard on stream. Did she actually stream on Twitch? Just like uh, something like that? Yeah, I guess you, you can't just keep going for it right it's got to be a very occasional thing <laughs> hello i i like your old name better mad hype underscore and all man i'm kind of thinking about getting monster hunter oh nice we can upgrade stuff now hell yeah what was this place all about uh i don't know what the code is i don't even know where i am oh it's wheelchair man he's got fish what a guy okay monster hunter world what what are you saying there Upon seeing the photo, the cripple cringes with disgust. These ruffians, eh? Sons of a thief. There were seven of them. The mothers took the four youngest ones when the hunger struck, and the other three stayed with the father. They were weak and sickly. 
One day, the father got it into his head that they were getting smaller rations because they, we've written them off. His hands start to tremble. So I went with a group of people to rob us of our food in the night. They broke into the basement. It didn't end well. No, no carrying, man. The cripple goes silent. The lads threw them out of the village. I don't know what happened to them after that. People used to say they wander the woods with the savages, looking for their place. Gives me back the photo. I can still hear the cries of that thief all the bloody time. All right, later, nerds. Wait, didn't I come down here at some point? I mean, I, I literally just came from here, but I'm... Um, yeah. See the crown of a huge tree. Small window. A lottery ticket? Hell yeah. It's got a sexy lady on it, too. Lone wolfing it, I guess. I don't know. I just don't want somebody to come along and just, you know, clear stuff for me. It just kind of takes the, the fun out of it, right? Call me old-fashioned. I think I need to head back. I could probably get rid of the scrap metal or something if I really need to. The fabric's just for money, but I don't have any money problems. I'll get rid of the sickle as well. Anyway, lots of options. There's something I really want to pick up. Hello? The hatch leading the basement is blocked from the inside. The marks on it suggest someone tried to break it open. Food inventory. Not a lot of potatoes. Plus one dog. The dog is pretty tasty, I'm sure. I feel like the magazines and stuff are probably going to be more useful than a lot of stuff. I've got lots of wire, so maybe I can get rid of that and not worry about it. I do kind of like the idea of carrying around gasoline. I can get rid of one of these. Oops. Let's just throw that on. And I think ammo's more interesting than the sickle. Uh, it's just inexpensive. I used to play Monster Hunter on the PSP, but then, I don't know, I just got tired of the, the whole, like, farming loop. Not enough room in my inventory. Well, I don't know, it's not a for sure thing. I just know that some of you nerds played it pretty aggressively for a little while. So I was like, hey, maybe I can see what it's all about. I'm not exactly pressed for games right now either. I've got lots of stuff I can play. Capcom has this like Monster Hunter collection thing. It's like 35 bucks for Monster Hunter Rise and all the DLC and things like that. I actually don't have that many games. I bought a bunch of like VR ones for like 10 bucks. So I mean, there's those now, but in general, I tend to play games and finish them and then don't buy any new ones until I get to the end. Which I know is basically blasphemy. Here we are. The tree is gigantic. Its bark stays in constant motion. It swells up and collapses into itself as if breathing. I see human silhouettes growing out of the tree trunk. They're also moving, as if gesturing in slow motion. Dozens of mouths repeat their lines simultaneously, creating a uniform, noisy murmur. Between the boughs I catch a man's gaze. It's fixed on me. His body... Similarly to the other beings, seems to form an integral part of the tree. His limbs are gnarled and his face is grotesquely deformed. He's the only one to acknowledge my presence. His hand slowly raises, pointing to something on the horizon. Above the roofs of the destroyed village, the man's lips are moving, but the ghastly murmur of the other voices drowns out his words. Even though the figure speaks sluggishly, it's too high for me to read its lips properly. I think one of the words is radio. I kick the tree trunk with all my strength, breaking a branch sticking up from between the roots. It hurts! I hear a silent voice coming from beneath my feet. It's the face of a man who has grown into the root. He is completely covered in bark. His lips barely stick above the mud and his raised arms resemble branches. One of them is broken in the elbow. The stump leads a white, gooey substance. Instead of seeping down, it slowly flows upward, forming a new arm. Try to climb it? The bark is slimy and soft. Its creases move away from my shoes and hands. I feel the arms that protrude from the root tucking at my clothes. I'm not sure if they want to drag me down or pull me closer. I barely break free from their grasp. Climbing up is out of the question. I notice a little smiling face of a girl gazing at me from behind a cluster of sleeping heads. Oblivious to the chaos around her, she studies me with curiosity. Just next to her, a massive man calmly hums some melody. The lullaby drowns in the overwhelming noise surrounding the tree. I'm barely able to make out any conversations and squabbles from the horrible noise of the tree boughs. You took everything from us! The shouts come from an old man. Only the tip of his head and one of his arms stick out from between the tightly crowded bodies. You stole it, thieves! May the dogs piss on your faces! Right next to him, a woman's head, wobbling from side to side, repeats, We were hungry. We were hungry. Another figure, hiding its face under an enormous root, lets out a chilling shriek. What? Leave us in peace! Shut up! 
He was interrupted by a man next to him, his intestines hanging out from his stomach. It was our common good. It was meant for all of us. You stole it. High above, at the top of the crown, two silhouettes hanging side by side from their hands and legs grown in the trunk were trying to bite each other's faces off. Sick. This is heavy metal. Oh, I've already been there. Do, 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 do. Another sickle. Do, 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 do. Basement hatch. Do, 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 do. We got time. Ba, ba, da, ba. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hole in the wall of the basement. It must have been made by the ground roots. Another one of those shrieky things. Who's there? Nobody. Don't worry about it. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Just kind of shrug my shoulders. Oh, we got a severe thunderstorm warning. Hell yeah. I've already been through here. This is the, at least I think I was. Whole thief thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think a lot of these games are going through a refresher. They're definitely, you know, showing their age from a graphics perspective, but I don't even care about the graphics that much as long as the gameplay is good. Like I keep bringing it up, but Terra is kind of like the peak MMO for me just from a gameplay perspective. If I could get, you know, like a westernized gear advancement system with that combat, it'd be fantastic. But the problem with that combat is it's not accessible. Like you can play, well, maybe not well, but you can play it. Final Fantasy XIV, that is, or other tab targeting games, one-handed. You know, the, the reaction time requirements are not super insane, and, you know, your personal agility isn't that big of a deal. But in Terra, you know, you were basically throwing down combos, trying to weave them in between boss attacks that didn't necessarily have the greatest telegraphing. I think I need to start setting fire to things here. All right. Let's maybe work through cleaning up some stuff. All right, come get some. Oh, a pump action shotgun. Interesting. Oh, I need another one of those pliers. What the hell? All right, that's cool. So I get two shots out of that, I guess. I actually have that much wire. That's insanity. Yeah, I, I, I guess I'm good. Maybe. Uh, that's an NC soft game, though, right? I wasn't even interested in the beta, to be honest. That's the one with. Uh, no, it's a third person shooter isn't it with that bunny character or whatever the hell it was i think that was just another one of those games that only came across my radar because people were talking about its uh sexualization yeah I, I don't care about looter shooters that much i enjoyed what the hell was it called clearly didn't enjoy it that much i enjoyed outriders for what it was but i think that was mostly because i was playing with a whole bunch of people right <laughs> so definitely had a different feel i'll be back i think my nuggets are ready mm. Breaded chicken is good. Got a little tamarind sauce on there. Hmm. It's a little late to head to the elephants. I'm actually not going to head there tomorrow. Well, I will, but Granny's next, I think. So many corpses. It's time for a corpse party. Ah, yes. My favorite thing. We made a new one. <clears throat> I must return to my hideout. Nah. I'll just accept my fate here for a moment. Annoying. Eat a mushroom. Eat some of this. Ugh. Okay. Good enough. Oh, alcohol is a big deal. Screw this stuff. All right. Let's head back. Do 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 do. Welcome home. May not be much, but it's mine. Um, antidotes are lame. It's a little late. I should go turn on the generator. <sighs> some low end savages being annoying. <laughs> I hear you. Come over here and party. Oops. Sure, why not? Oops. Racked my door. Um, I was gonna do something before I got so rudely distracted. Oh yeah, I'm looking for space for this. I mean, I don't need these fabric things. I'm gonna sell those. There's a dog fighting a savage, I guess, somewhere. What a dink. Alcohol, heck yeah. Pills are okay. Do 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 do. Might as well eat that. Can't hurt. Rack. What else can I sell to make more space? It's most of the stuff is not that useful. I've got many metal rods. Don't need them. All right. Fantastic. What if the lantern lasts the entire day? Seems okay. Day 33. Hmm. Holy crap. That was a huge thunderbolt. I'll be back. There's a big fat thunderstorm outside. It's very exciting. No, I guess that's all that matters. All right, so this double barrel shotgun I already got, but I need three weapon parts and a long barrel. Okay. How am I doing on molly materials? I've got enough to do what I want. Don't care about the hunter rifle, I don't think. Lanterns are pretty handy. Okay. I think we're ready to party. Yeah. I think this is the path through the swamp to the house that I want to go to. Actually, no, I don't want to go here, do I? I want to go through the hole. Oh, I'm an idiot. I want to go talk to Granny, who I guess is why the rubber boots exist. Because her entire place is basically covered in poison. Might be worth taking them with me. Oh. Yeah, okay. Excuse me, my god. Stupid chair. All right, I'll just accept my fate and we'll throw this stuff on for now. Don't necessarily need the flares on me. 
right now anyway. I do like the lantern. It's weirdly bright out right now, but there's a big fat thunderstorm going. Not a lot of wind. It's all stringy. So we'll eat one of these. <clears throat> Brighten up the place a little bit. It's just like real life right now. Oh, not quite this violent, but definitely rainy. Lightning. UPS should keep things kicking for a little while. Okay, this is the mushroom village. Oh, a shrine. The shrine of the mushroom lady. Okay, so you still take damage, but you don't get poisoned. This is fine. The woman takes the photo into her hands. Lovely boys. All they have left is their father. Meet the old lady. Hmm. Oh, interesting. None of my keys fit. What the hell was that key for then? Hey, Mr. Rob. How's your day going? Hello, Hydrin. None of my keys fit. Okay, let's go find the elephants. Good to hear, man. Big thunderstorm going on outside. Let's see how long my power stays on. All right, I can upgrade to get the double barrel shotgun now, or the pump action. Which means making the double barrel was probably a giant waste of time. Okay, so another one of these things. That's so screechy. <clears throat> An old shed. Where is the shed? I don't see anything. Oh, is that it? It's a big freaking shed. Oh, another key? Sure, why not? We can eat some pills. Recently dried blood. Good times. Uh, the rope isn't that interesting. Gasoline's fine, though. Some are fresh. I don't know if I have... The flower stuff is the the elephants, right? Mm-hmm. I haven't figured out how to break down barricades or anything. It just seems to be impossible. Okay, well, this is something new to keep in mind, I guess. Yeah, so these flowers are leading me to the elephants, I guess. Maybe. Or to my doom. Why not both, I guess? Still have no idea what the heck those things are for. Just very screechy. Amazing. Yeah, there's a lot of chompers here. They're all hiding out in the back here. The woman takes the photo and freezes. No, I don't know who that is. You do, you liar. It's your husband's kids. All right, I am confused. All right, so I could just leave through the flooded gate area? Just call it quits or I keep trying to unravel the mystery. And I guess for now, I can just beetle north after stopping by at my place to drop some trash off and explore that whole area because I haven't yet. Ugh, don't I have some power that prevents me from getting hit by that for one go or something? Oh well. Not that big of a deal. It's a hole. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, that wasn't very good. Mushroom man does whatever a mushroom can. <laughs> right, this was the other one that I tried to get into, but it wasn't working. So I have a key that I don't know what I'm gonna do it with. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. Key on a key ring, chest key. So maybe one of these is related. This is a wooden door. I could probably just break it, right? Alcohol's good. I mean, not in real life, but in this game, wire's kind of not as interesting as it used to be. Man, that's a lot of uh, fun stuff. Sounds like somebody's trying to break in. Ain't nobody got time for that. I actually don't need the money, so the antler is kind of pointless. I guess I can carry this stuff around for funsies. Oh, so much stuff. Hmm. Strangely enough, the pistol's not that exciting. Uh, 9 volt batteries versus scrap. I mean, I can just buy scrap, right? Yeah, no need to just keep grabbing stuff. All right, that's cool. Let's head back to base camp. Upgrade! Now I can make the pump action if I actually put the effort forward. So the double barrel is less useful than I would have liked. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Throw this all in there. Just why the heck not? And yeah, fabric, I guess I can't do anything about. I don't know if the rubber boots are worth the inventory slot. Definitely don't need this much ammo on me, though. I can't upgrade anymore. Okay. That means these can all go away. I can't upgrade. Oh, I can upgrade everything now. That means I need more tape? Yeah, okay. Excellent. So we'll definitely go that route. Get rid of the exploding barrels, the gas bottles, probably not required. Antidote stuff, whatever. What else can I get rid of? The alcohol. Alcohol is good. Fabric can go away. I guess the axe blades actually aren't that useful. All right, it is six o'clock, which means it's going to be dark time soon. So we may as well just sit here and chill. Interestingly enough, I actually need more metal, maybe. The boots are handy. Handgun frame can probably get sold. Tubular magazine can go away. I think the bolt handles used for that. Yeah, I need so much tape. Oh, well, I can clear out most of this stuff at some point. Oh, I need the tubular magazine. The pump action. Okay, I'll have we get rid of the rope. Magical. All right, we gotta spend a few minutes in here. We'll see what comes and tries to beat us up. I'm sure it'll be extra annoying. Just reorganize my stash while we're 
waiting for something to show up. Makes me wonder what the medium caliber magazine is for. Kind of an uneventful night so far. Maybe I should just run around and start dealing with like creeping vine crap. We got some doggos somewhere. Do 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 do. Hello. You gonna come back? No. You're just gonna go do something with the creepy stuff. Okay. It's a centipede, I think. Yeah. Amazing. All right. No harm in eating the meat, I think. It's strangely sunny out. But it is absolutely pouring right now. Not morning yet. Do I have any torches? Ugh, oh, this is gross. Day 34. Let's do some trading. Get rid of these, whoops. Some barrels. This crap can go away. That can go away. In exchange, I want this. I want this. I'll take this, I guess, as well. Cape, pipe. Sure. Put the last upgrade on this. Bam. And then, whoops, I can probably sell that too. Frame isn't going to be required for anything the tape away and the ammo for later all right one more weapon thing i guess if i see the doctor that'll sort that out and i have just way more money than i need for anything right now could take more pills i guess i'm even kind of filled up on rags sure all right let's go north we'll see what we can get our nose that's stuck into can i show them the cowbell Okay, so all I have is a photo of that one dude's kids. I'm not sure what else. I'm going to need to trigger some sort of advancement here. But north it is. This will be fine. Another one of those shrieking things. Don't want to stick around that nonsense. Uh, this is not a throbbing corpse. Get wrecked. Corpse of some unlucky bastard who's been tied to the tree. This. Throw this on. Keep on living the good fight. Hmm. Is this this village thing? So rainy. I like dead ends. I mean, I don't have to explore anymore. Let's go down the other passageway. Who? Exactly. Who? Who? You're trapped. Cool. Cut you loose. I mean, I'm okay with this idea. No. Nope. Oh, what the hell? The giant snail. Snailed it. Hello. The roof beneath the shell is completely destroyed. The snail shell is probably also badly damaged. Maybe I'll be able to get inside the cottage through the skin on his belly. Seems quite frail. I can talk to this guy. Who are you? The snail's speech is extremely slow and slurred. He moves his jaw with great effort. It looks like it's about to fall off. His eyes sag from their sockets. They dangle from side to side, trying to keep me in their sight. Why? Why are you disturbing my forced rest? His right eye raises with great effort and wobbles. Your face, what happened to you? The snail's jaw falls so low it almost detaches itself from the rest of the body. You scared me. You barely resemble a human. You should cover yourself. Suddenly, I feel a subtle shiver beneath my feet. The snail's body levens up. Quiet. Hear that? Do you hear that voice? Snail tucks his head inside his shell. She calls to me. Can you hear it? The snail falls silent for a longer moment. The inside of the shell is almost completely silent. She's calling me, and I'm here. Trapped. Bound. Snail's body suddenly leans forward. The wooden construction of the cottage creaks under his huge bulk. I barely keep my balance. Help me loose, please. I need to get out of here. You release me, I will leave. Come back tomorrow and I won't be here anymore. You can live in my home. You'll like it. You just need to cut me loose. The snail falls silent. His enormous head slowly drops to the shell. Giant gleaming drops of mucus appear on his slimy skin. You don't need to understand my predicament. I'm unable to do anything by myself. My legs are numb from lying here. I can't feel my arms at all. I admit lying in the sun gives me the strange pleasure. But it's time for me to go. Understand? I have to. You going there too? Everyone is going there. So road home after all. Once there was a beautiful clearing. Now everything's covered in water and I've lost my gum boots. Do you have any gum boots on you? It was yesterday or a few days ago, maybe a year. I woke up in front of the house. I felt I was dreaming. I took a step and fell down. I fell straight on the roof. How did this happen? You're so ugly. I feel like puking. You barely resemble a human being. 
Wow. Now I'm tempted just to murder him. How do I free him from his his prison or whatever? Some kind of organic cords. They're slowly pulsating. They're surprisingly hard and durable. Gross. Well, we'll leave Snail Man alone for a little bit. Ow. It's gonna follow the cord along. Okay. All right. So much for that theory. Air trap. Many nails and planks. Some useful scrap. Rope. Stop it up. Right. Now, quality clothing. F. An old compressor northeast that's a big deal because i need the compressor for repairing something somewhere i don't remember where it is oh they're all snails are they telling me that i missed something here or just that he found it all right well let's go chop at the snail a bit i guess creepy times and all that let's go for a walk inside of the snail well we have nothing to eat since the flood i've caught some snails and frogs better this than nothing yeah, yeah. Try corpse over going with roots. Not very cool. Snail bro dead. He is very dead. In the junkyard. Is that where we're going next? As well, I guess. Who knows what the consequences of that were, but I don't know. To be fair, I probably wouldn't want to be a snail anyway. So we probably did the guy a favor. That's what I'm going with. Let's eat this. Go to the junkyard. Just pills and a sickle. Whatever. Actually, I should probably head northeast. I feel like the compressor's going to be in that somewhere i don't like the junkyard's going anywhere anyway i like the ammo the rest of this is kind of whatever let's get rid of the knife take the ammo don't need four matches i don't even need the money i think the space is probably just more useful keep collecting healing items already fiddled with that corpse killed the spider thing lots of skeletons here not great disgusting oh i should have eaten the other one. Oh well stupid tree thing's gonna try to do something to me Let's avoid that. Do bottles, whatever. Hmm. Not really that exciting. It's just dark, empty space. Okay, so I definitely went there. Maybe whatever it is is more centrally located. Living the dream. Eh, use the wire. What are we gonna find? A whole lot of nothing. Okay, yeah, none of this really matters. I guess technically this is a better gasoline tank. Got beat up a little bit, but... Doesn't really matter. Got some rags. Yeah, this is fine. Hmm. Okay. So I guess there wasn't an old compressor here. Or at least not as in line with what I thought that map was. Yeah, this thing. Scrap metal and an old compressor. I don't even know what this is a map of, like, relative to this. Just aimlessly wandering. Go back through this. I guess the next place will be the junkyard. Oh, here's a thing. Let's go say hi. May as well eat this while we're here. Junk. Okay. It's like something's gonna come and say hi. Oh, there we go. I'm a little stronger than last we met. And a bunch of ding dongs. All right. I do kind of want to eat the pills. You know what we can do? We can eat this. I'm not actually that damaged, which is fun. Eat the pills, and then I'll grab that last chunk of meat for a snack later. A free shovel? Man, they're just giving away stuff now. So none of this stuff really matters right now. Hmm. Free watch? Yeah, at this point, money's not a giant deal. It's just figuring out what the heck to do next. The junk care definitely is the next thing. Honey, I'm home. Has the generator been going the whole time? Mistakes were made. It's fine. Not the end of the world. Don't need that many pills, I guess. No, the fabric's actually useless. Make more mollies would be pretty cool. At this point, I'm pretty sure I can just like run away or whatever, right? I'm just sticking around for lore reasons at this point, mostly. I put the boots back on. We've got visitors. Hello. Hi. I'm beating myself up here. Where's the other chomper? It's fine. What else can I find in here? Some savages? Oh, cool. There's one of these things in my house now. How's it going? Oh, it gives me pain? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it actually takes life from me. Okay. Well, now I know that those things are not ideal. Learn something useful. A new annoying mechanic to manage or manage. Awesome. That's everything I've ever dreamt of. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. It's kind of boring. Looks like the storm's over. Nice and sunny out. Greetings. All oh, right. Herp a derp. More wire. That's kind of nice. Sell the double barrel because I'm not going to need it. It's the gas tanks aren't that useful either right now. Day 35. I imagine I've been here way too long. The tank is now empty. 
All right. You can have this. You can have that. You can have this. You can also have this and that. I know. It's quite the bargain. Take this. Take that. This. Take the pills, because why the heck not? And the weapon parts, for sure. Is anything else that interesting? Guess not really. All right. Let's make the pump action. Nice. Don't actually know why I got that stuff. All right. Let's go to the junkyard. I don't think I need this on me right now. I might go and eat the granny if I have nothing better to do after this. This is some exploration to be done to the west first. Big tree in the way. Ow. I'm gonna sneeze. Or not. I've been in there. Gross. Need a little meat. Something crunchy in here. Not super sure what that is all about. Ah, what's this? Hello. So what's the point of this? I guess it's a good marker. Oh, free lantern. Hell yeah. Hmm. The other side of the big ass tree near this place. Yeah. I broke open the door. Lots of entertainment value. There's probably nothing else that's super major around here. Let's go to the junkyard now. Oh, maybe this is a map for the junkyard. Hmm. Some useful scrap metal, gun parts, some tools, an old compressor. Okay. So yeah, that's exactly what that is. It's a map to show me where stuff is in the junkyard. So I don't waste a bunch of time trying to dig. Yeah, B. I'm looking for F. I wonder if that's Peter's rocket. D. And this is F. So this gives me the compressor parts. That's cool. The only problem is... I don't remember where the compressor is. It shouldn't be that hard. Oh my god, it is Peter. Well, okay. You failed, man, but you lived your dream. It's more than most people can say. I actually did manage to fly pretty far. Alright, let's go figure out where this compressor thing is. I feel like it's in the bottom right corner of my main base, but could be wrong. Either way, not that big of a deal. Right, let's put this stuff away. Alcohol, yeah. Lots of scrap metal and more gasoline as well. Although I might need some fuel. We'll see. And I may as well make one of these. Why not? We'll keep full up. Mollies are good. Everything else looks to be pretty okay to me. Yeah, this is the compressor. Okay, let's fix it. See what we can find. Open sesame. I could refill empty oxygen tanks. Oh, well, what the heck? All right, Granny's getting eaten. That's just what's gonna happen. Let's go there. I don't have any other ideas, like things to do, other than what I think is maybe kind of the end of the game, which is the radio tower. Is that lightning or is it like a transformer or something blown up? It's not quite clear to me. Oh, what the heck? It's like a big nostril, just very aggressively breathing. Um. Hang on a second here. Give me a second to swap out to my flares, please. So I can actually kill some things. Ow! Frick! Well, okay. The guns are not as fun as I thought they would be. Yeah. Well, that all worked out, I guess. Mostly. I can see more, which is nice. Okay. So now that the storm is no longer a thing, what does that give me access to? Hmm... Should have repaired my shovel while I was rolling around. Let's put my shoes back on. Well, I'm not convinced there's anything else in here other than that one room. Yeah, whatever. Let's go say hi to Granny. Ow. It's kind of annoying. Do I have to deal with the grime? Ugh. I guess I do. Okay. Have a nice time. Set myself on fire again. Boring. Nothing else. Oh, top secret. He's the dead mushroom man. It's a pretty good crate. What I really want is in there. All right, I'm feeling a little bit peckish. Let's go eat grandma. I'm out of ideas. She's probably going to taste like, I don't know. Oh, I went the wrong way. Like cigarette butts or something. <laughs> All right, granny. Yo. I lean towards the old lady. The sweet fragrance of mushrooms overwhelms me. To eat her. Do it. What are you doing? Leave me be. Go away. I, I bite into her body. The mushroom juice squirts under my face and clothes. Disgusting. I feel the woman's feeble hands trying to push me away, but they're too weak and my hunger is too great. She kicks about only slightly when I bite into her face. I swallow one chunk of her sweet body after another, unable to stop myself from devouring her whole. Perfect. Um. Oh, child. The boy is standing under a wall overgrown with enormous mushrooms. He's visibly scared. His lush mop of hair veils a restless, wide-open pair of eyes. The kid is whispering as if reciting something under his breath. The boy cowers and presses back against the soft wall, which starts to ooze a white goo. The boy is terrified. 
Slowly, he slumps down from the wall to the ground, curling into a ball. The murmur turns into a loud recitation. One little bear ate a bowl of soup, and another bear came in. There were two. Four little bears made a son of pow. Along came the fifth and took a little bow. When I take the boy into my arms, he starts screaming, reciting the rhyme over and over. This is going to be a long trip. Yep. As we pass her means the old lady, the boy stops reciting. I feel his hands tightly clutching my coat. Granny? As I cross the cottage's threshold, I can hear him sobbing quietly. Oh. You brought back my child. The woman leans towards the boy. Marcin, where have you been? The boy stares at the ground in silence. Come here. Marcin Hank walks towards the woman, nervously plucking his old torn sweater. Look at you. Where's your mask? And the gas tank from your gracious brother. His love protects us. It fills our lungs with clean air. And this is how you thank him, young man? Your childish behavior made him very, very angry. Now we will all have to apologize to him for your stupidity. The two kids standing behind their mother flinch. The woman grabs the boy's hand and disappears in the hallway. After a while, she comes back with an oxygen tank. Hell yeah! Take it. It's a tank for you. It will protect you from this devilish air. The devil's breath and other evils lurking in this foul place. It's the only thing I have and the only thing I can give you. The tank is a little rusty, but it seems intact. On the side, I can see some unintelligible scribbles. The valve opens with a little resistance, but I don't hear the hiss of air. It's empty. Do not open the valve without need. You will only waste the clean air. She pushes my hand away from the valve and closes it hastily. May it serve you well. Success! Alright, I can't hang out with the elephants, can I? Yeah, because the... Ah, uh, uh, this is not great. Because the shadows are going to rip me apart. Should be fun. Right. Well, we can uh, eat some stuff to maybe make the trek a little better. We're not too far away from the house. Should be mostly okay. Got lucky there. I thought I was going to get stuck. Almost back home. Interesting. Don't really care about shiny stones right now. Did I literally just go over top? Yeah. All right, let's get that generator up and running. Let's see what we've got. So this uh, oxygen tank, it is a thing. Okay, actually just a thing. Wait, let's repair my shovel. And I think the rest is good. Oh, I have to use it to actually use it. That's uh, unfortunate. Kind of annoying more than anything. I'm gonna buy some empty bottles from the three once the night is over. For now though, Let's go head over the compressor. Okay, so I think there's two waterways. There's like one in the village and then one down here somewhere. May as well keep eating this crap for now. Mm hmm Dragon centipedes. Oh, my boots actually do get damaged. That sucks. And I can't repair them. Alright. It's not strictly speaking necessary. It's just kind of convenient. Free mushrooms. Am I not getting banshees anymore because I murdered them all? I'm getting their nest. Amazing. 30 seconds until the day breaks. Pew, pew, pew. Day 36! Definitely taking our sweet time. Alright, ammo, ammo, empty bottle. I'll take the pills, because why the heck not? And then, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, whatever. Like a few more mollies. I've got a backup lantern. Alright, let's go scuba diving. I know of two places, at least. One is going to be southeast of here, and then the other one's going to be in the village proper. Tuh. A little bit of a bug. Still haven't found a way into that wreckage. It's marked, but I don't know. There's probably some way. I'll probably explore it once I get closer. Okay, so the scuba spot is a dark spot. In the waterway here somewhere. It got. It. There it is. Okay. Hey, let me do it. Where am I exactly? Oh, I'm at the wreckage. Well, let's go ahead and set this up. Helicopter. Hmm. Spooky wooky. It's not like a mine. Oh, it's a wheel. An assault rifle? Sick. We're gonna be ready to, for war here shortly. Oh, this is the other half of the photo, I think. Um, yeah, so there's this half. And then there's... No... I thought we saw a photo that was the other half. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so this was... The assault rifle, I guess, is the main reward here. It's cool. How full is the oxygen tank? I guess it's just one of those things that you get and you're good. All right, so we actually have lots of time. We can go and hit up that village like right now. It's probably worth heading back since it's literally on the way. I'll dumpster some stuff. I'll see if I have enough ammo to turn that assault rifle into something useful and then give it a go. Sick. I'm ready for battle. Can I explore that? Oh, that's my house. Amazing. It's got so much crap in it. I can't tell anymore. Okay. 
So the assault rifle, pump action shotgun. Okay, so these bullets are for that other thing. All right, very good. I don't need this military flashlight. I can just drop it on the ground for now since it looks like I don't have the space. And yeah, we're, we're ready to rock. So I'll probably take all of this stuff with me when I leave. We'll make a bunch of mollies. I'll just take every recovery item I have and we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. So that means pistol ammo has no value right now. I can pew pew whatever I want. Right, let's go check out that flooded area. I don't remember what any of this crap is. Oh, this is the, the way in. Very good. Yeah, I'm already employed. I start work on July 2nd. Oh, what are you saying there? Am I excited? No, and yes, I guess. I don't know. It's going to be difficult, but I mean, I've never shied away from that before, but I'm. it's still going to take me a long time to get over the anxiety that the whole layoff situation created. At this point, I'm mostly just focused on financial independence, which begs the question why I'm playing a video game right now, but anyway, hypoc or hypocrisy aside, yeah, none of that matters. I'll probably start putting more work into my game at some point. Again, I've basically been studying, so right now my brain is uh, too occupied with that. What is this all about? It's a lot of crates. No, I'm not. <clears throat> if I was, I wouldn't be looking for a job. I'd be working on my video game. Like, that's basically what I would do. I'd work out, work on my game. That's all it would be. Am I going in a loop? Welcome to Beads and Friends. What was my savings rate when I was previously employed? Like, take home? Like, net or gross? How's everybody doing today? Gross? Um... Yeah, me math. I save about 35% of my income a month. Ever played Overlord? No. Now after taxes, it's about 55% of my income I save each month. Yeah, so I I live below my means. My place is gonna be paid off within a couple of years, which will let me save another like 1200 a month. The only thing that I really spend a bunch of money on is I buy a new computer, but that's like what, four grand every four to five years? Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Moo, run. Oh, sick. What the hell is going on here? Thinking about upgrading year two? Yeah, I'm waiting to see what happens with the GPUs. Wait, what's going on here? My previous monthly salary? Uh, not including benefits and stuff like that. About $9,100. PCI 7? I think it is, but it doesn't matter. Like, that stuff is only relevant for really high throughput niche cases, and games and stuff don't really matter. Is it going to be used for new GPUs? It'll support it, but it's not going to work because you're still going to be bandwidth limited by other things. GDDR7, which is the memory specification, is probably going to be used on the new GPUs. The city I live in is unfortunately very expensive. No, I don't keep money in savings accounts. I keep it in my investment accounts. And yes, I do. I'm currently driving towards getting to the point where I can just live off of the, you know, capital gains or interest or dividends or whatever you want to call it off of the investments I've made. Like the goal is to get to the point where the amount of money I make for my investments exceeds my, you know, yearly expenditures. I have coffee. What is it for? It's it's just Patreon. It's Patreon without the fees. Oh no, they're shrinking the space. So terrifying. Let me out. Let me out. Oh no. I do have a mortgage. Yeah. What's happening? Oh, the darkness. It's creeping in. My eyeballs or something. I don't know. What do people get from it? Nothing. <laughs> in theory, I guess I could put up um, private content or whatever, but uh, haven't. I haven't gone that far. Like, I, I think if I was going to put something that was like premium for subscribers, it would be things like the script that I use to uh, stream to multiple platforms. It would be, you know, snippets from my game, like the code for it. You know, maybe I'd make a tutorial about two PC streaming because I, I feel like the the two PC streaming tutorials out there suck. You know, how do I create added value for people that want to contribute to this adventure? So the logic is you're paying into your own equity instead of paying somebody else's. And you get the stability of not having to deal with the possibility of eviction. So nothing's gonna kick me out of here, right? Other than, you know, it blows up or I get into debt for some crazy ass reason or I can't pay off my mortgage. 
the rate of the mortgage is lower than the market returns for that money. So by paying the minimum into that, that mortgage, I pocket the difference and I invest the difference, which means I collect whatever percentage delta is between my mortgage and the market. Like my mortgage is, I don't know, 5.6% or something, which is fairly high, I mean, by today's standards, but because the market returns between eight and 9%, it doesn't make any sense for me to pay off more. Like money is value. And I think one of the things that, you know, high school or school in general should teach you is the value of money. So I could pay off the remainder of my mortgage today. I'm fortunate enough to be in that situation. But that money is better spent by investment in the market, as long as I don't need access to that money. When you put money into the market, it's harder to get a hold of, right? So I don't have any fancy bank accounts either. I just have the most basic one, and I actually pay the bank $4 a month to make use of that checking account. But the reason I pay the $4 for that checking account, as opposed to getting like a, an account with more transactions, but requiring a minimum balance, is that the minimum balance is usually about three or $4,000. And it's super easy to get about 5% from a high interest savings account right now. So 5% of $3,000 is $150 a year, right? So you end up making 90 bucks. And I mean, it doesn't add up to a lot, but part of it's just the principle of it. I have no idea, Night Masks. Somebody should tell you about the laws. I mean, most laws are common sense, right? Can I blow these things up? Like, I'm really tired of that crap. The answer is no. I'm not planning to have any money or any assets from anybody. And that's how I plan out my existence, which is probably why <laughs> my anxiety level is what it is when it comes to finances and stuff. Life's expensive and it's inconsistent. That's the big problem, right? Like if I'm only able to rely on myself, you know, how am I gonna drive towards retirement? How do I ensure that you know, layoffs or whatever don't impact me super negatively in the end. Damn it. They would use their fortune before they die? The beeping is super annoying. It's like a mosquito. I mean, they might leave me something, right? But there's no pre-planned activity to do that. The barrel's valve is rusty, but it seems to be working. Judging by the smell, there's gasoline inside. Am I gonna light up the place? Let's do it. I grab the valve and try to turn it with all my strength. It suddenly breaks. Gasoline's just a leak out of the barrel, blows down the tunnel. Oh, well, I guess that's why we have this, right? Oops. The tunnel looks different. It was carved out by people sloppily and hastily. It's a miracle it still hasn't collapsed yet. Locked by rubble. All right, let's, um, let's do it. Oh no, let's, um, consider moving away. How many siblings do you have? Or do I have? Just one. Yeah, I have a brother. Slightly younger than me. Um, okay. Looks like we've made root barbecue. Yep, we're different people, but he's not a dickhole. In fact, I saw him last week. A dead end carved out by the roots. Is he in the same line of career? No, he's a health researcher, I guess. Something like that. He works for the government or some arm of the government. And have I achieved what I needed to? Do we just leave now? I don't know, man. My brother got a few more advantages than I did, in my opinion. They gave him a used car and some other crap but I don't think there was any specific favoritism. My brother's a little more family oriented than me, so there's that. You have appliances with the same sound? Man, that would drive me insane. You ever walk into a room and there's a TV on and you can kind of just, you know, hear something like a pressure, even though there's no audio coming out of it? Okay, does he have a family of his own? Yeah, kind of. All right, we gotta wait for a day for this to finish. He doesn't want kids, so I don't want kids. Our bloodline's probably gonna die. No, I'm not an uncle. The cripple's blind eyes are hypnotized to the huge flame consuming the tree. It's as if the old man could see everything clearly now. The orange fire illuminates his pale, motionless face. Next level mental. No, seriously, like, I'll feel something sometimes. Uh, yeah, this is the fastest way back. Well, that's the problem with it, right? So if I, like, chunked off, what, like, a, I don't know, grand or two for my savings a month to pay for a kid, that sets me back probably another, like, seven years of retirement. And that doesn't even factor in the potential risk factor of my kid being a giant douchebag and, you know, not necessarily being able to afford to move out. Like my aunt's kid is not, <laughs> not great. A kid would motivate me? No, I can't think of a worse possible reason to have a kid than they'll motivate you. 
There might be some chemical thing there, but I'm probably too much of a pseudo sociopath to get that out of that. Yeah, like, I, I, I have no desire to put the time into that kind of thing at all. I'm just going to accumulate money, enjoy myself, die, and <laughs> be somebody else's problem. All right, so what do we do for like 12 hours? Um... All right, we just wander out and start shooting things. And then I started blasting. All right, let's uh, head over there, I guess. I don't know. I think that's really the, the fundamental problem with kids is that, you know, there's that saying where it takes a village to raise a child. And it's like, oh, okay. It takes the village because the time involved is insanity. I don't know. My dad's a very different person than me in terms of his value set. He's very family centric. My mom came from a big family too, so there's that. As my mom put it, I focus on what they take away and not what they provide, and therein lies the, <laughs> the problem. I don't even like being around children. And just their, their incessant questioning and just the stupid decisions and everything else drives me insane. I just want to do my job, you know, play some video games, lift some stuff, call it good. I don't think that's a worthwhile risk, Night Masks. Can you imagine, like, if you roll the dice and see what happens, and then... It turns out it didn't change anything. So now you're stuck with this creature that you have to take care of for 20 plus years or something. And to add insult to injury, they will know that they aren't wanted on some level. Like, that's a, the most unbelievably selfish thing you can do. No, he's he's more like interested in, you know, visiting my parents more frequently, that kind of thing. So I mean, I mean, did it, but they came from a different generation, right? Where things were less expensive. You know, my dad was in the military, didn't have to worry about being laid off, didn't have to worry about interviewing. He had everything paid for. He has a pension. You know, my mom was taking care of us full time. For him, it was probably a more passive experience. You know, things are a lot more expensive now than they ever were. Oh, a dead lizard protrudes from his mouth. Excellent. Like, it's a completely different atmosphere these days than what it used to be sure there is no advantage in my mind to procreation for me this planet already has enough people i don't have any specific focus on creating a legacy via biology it just doesn't do anything for me leave it to people that want it and there are a lot of them out there that are interested in that kind of thing my mom brought it up once and i shut it down and that was it my purpose is hedonism <laughs> i guess it's it I'm totally okay with this. I will enjoy my life, and that'll be that. There doesn't need to be a higher purpose to things. Yeah, I will solve problems and make techie stuff and play games and talk to weirdos on the internet, and that'll be it. It's all good. Oh, so many weapon parts. What the heck? I mean, maybe. I don't know what collection of actions led to this mentality, but here we are. Good God. You gonna come out, buddy? Weirdos, is that not the guy jam? No. You know, people just have different things that they like. Some people are hell-bent on the idea of having a family and kids and the, the whole idea that, that that entails. And some people are on the other side of the spectrum. Nope. You can't really have one without the other. And the handgun kind of sucks. Oh, that's one of those tree things. All right, well, we got to get out of here. Well, that's a thing too, right? Like, if the government subsidizes kids which they do in some cases. You know, some low-income people just have a bunch of kids because they keep getting more of a monthly payment out of them. Like, you can't pay people to have children and expect it to not be abused. You know, what happens to those kids? It's just not great. I was fortunate enough to have supportive children, or supportive uh, parents. They didn't, you know, give me everything, but I was at least in an environment where I could, you know, educate myself and plan things out, and that's a lot more that, than a lot of people have. I was fortunate that way. Crap. Where's my lantern? Am I gonna be able to find my way back before I die? It is not likely gonna happen. I'm probably just gonna die. Where am I even anyway? No? I just don't want to spend the time? Okay, I, this isn't that complicated. I don't understand why you're playing psychologist on this subject. It's like, why don't I have a dog? You know, it's the same reason. I don't want to spend the time on a pet. I don't even want a freaking cat. It's just time and money getting sucked out of me for no reason. You can fix me, yeah. At least Kajam is effed off on that subject. I've always got stuff I want to do. I don't understand people who get bored with their existence. Like, you don't need a kid to spice up your life. Yeah, I don't. 
have any issues. No, I've always got stuff to do. Like, if I wasn't employed or I didn't have to be employed, I wouldn't be employed because I'd always have stuff. Why did I do it? Because the tree is lame. I don't know. When people say they're bored, I'm just like, dude, there's so much stuff I can do on a daily basis. Trees. What the crap is that? Why is everything on fire? Ah! <laughs> what is this? Trees. Oh boy. Oh, this is kind of unpleasant. Do I have any meat? I do. I influence you in a productive way? That's weird. Like, there's a few things I should be doing right now other than playing video games, right? Like, I should be working on my game. You know, make games instead of playing games. Come get some. He wanted some, and he got some. It's a good thing I saved up all this ammo. Oh boy. They're coming right for me! Ah! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, perfect. Yeah, Wobby's just messing with you. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh, the three aren't here anymore. Interesting. What does that even mean? Holy thunderstorms. Hmm. Do I like watching other coding streamers? Not a chance in hell. And people are like, why aren't you coding right now? And it's like, well, I mean... I don't mind it, but I don't love it either. I mean, you can learn some things, but I find that it's not that productive. That's actually a, a good point, Night Masks. There's so many people that stream and they don't seem to understand that the whole point of streaming is the engagement piece, right? Pirate Software? Yeah, the guy is an ex-Blizzard employee. He's very smart but he doesn't really code that much anymore, right, on stream. And I don't know what his history is, but by the time he started kind of coding on stream, the project was mostly done, right? Part of the problem with me streaming my Unity stuff is I'm still learning. So the amount of brain power I have to split between the different activities is significant. I'm not just going through a practice motion that I've already fully fleshed out at some other point. So I don't need to think that hard. No, they, they stream because you can make, you know, extra money on this side. The whole idea of accountability is a weird one. Like, I don't stream my workouts for accountability's sake. I streamed my workouts because it's more interesting for me because I don't like working out. Now, I can understand accountability when you're paying somebody else, like personal training, because then you're just sacrificing, you know, money that you otherwise wouldn't have to. So that gives you a pain point. But the idea of streaming for accountability is insanity to me. Yeah, it's on the menu. Early July. All right. Pirate Software is a cool guy. Go check him out. He's got a lot of uh, anecdotes from his Blizzard days. He's a very smart guy. He's got, you know, Red Hat credentials. Or Team Red, rather. You know, he's got a pretty successful game studio. Making some indie RPG titles. His shorts blew up on YouTube. He's got a billion viewers as a result. You know, he's got everything going for him. I mean, he's got his uh, his ferret charity thing. Like, it just generally all around pretty okay. Yeah, it is good for him. It's nice that that kind of personality can find success, right? When so many people are relying on reaction streaming and just pure nonsense to make their money. It's good to see. I'm definitely envious of his position, for sure. But he's put in the work to get there and deserves every bit of it oh this is the granny's key roots everywhere i imagine this isn't a thing anymore like it doesn't serve a purpose oh paintings from 1972 light bunch of crap who cares all right i mean those shorts of him talking about stuff you're seeing the best of them right i'm gonna let you on a secret all software developers are a little weird every single one of them and they're not all weird in the stereotypical you know nerd with the glasses or overweight sort of weird they're just slightly different in terms of the way they view the world and how they you know, interact with it in any way the the structure to their decision making processes all more closely resemble you know the structure of software than any sort of overly emotional conclusion so you put a guy on the spot like that in a social circumstance that he's not 
really that well versed in or comfortable in you're going to get a strange result <laughs> it's just the way it is right no that's not what i said nightmare it's just the conclusion that they may reach or the the way they may phrase something isn't necessarily going to align with what's going on here uh the way you know somebody more disconnected from tech might might view things if there's a reason tech jobs pay as much as they do they're complicated they're annoying and they require a certain thought process or view on the world to be successful in, especially when you're building out these giant, you know, fat systems of whatever. You know, how many people can sit there for eight hours a day fussing with multiplayer notepad? If it was a regular activity and it was easy and all these other things, a lot more people would get into it. Like graduation rates for tech are really bad. A colorless goo sips from the cracks in the asphalt. Did I kill the big boss? Should I have bought a, or brought a shotgun with me or something? Is this the doctor? It's kind of having a bad day. Sure, I'll take the torches. The crossed out sign reads Dark Wood. It's the crippled old man from the village. The road home. Sick. Um, uh, I know what a couple people ended up getting into. One person ended up becoming a substitute teacher out in the Maritimes. Married a military guy another one became a barista i don't know what she's up to these days one person went into radio not as a personality but as a like a producer or something i've since lost touch with them one of them works in retail are these all the people that are free from the tree is that what happened i feel like i should have brought my shotgun 25 kilometers to the nearest town um Dust to dust, ashes to trees. Yeah, it kind of was. Like, there was, uh, what, 215 people in my cohort. And then by the time we graduated, there was maybe, like, 12. You know, all the professors knew who you were, <laughs> like, by name. You knew who everybody else was. Basically, every year that passed by, about half would disappear. Yeah, I know exactly, or at least of one. He was extra weird, though. He was homeschooled. I think homeschooling's the worst possible thing you can do for your kid. 100% the worst thing. Are we at the end? I guess. What was that other tunnel for then? It's the social skills, the ability to manage stress, the ability to deal with somebody that disagrees with you, right? The, the scenario where you are not necessarily going to be the smartest person in the room, where people are going to point out your failures and your flaws, and they're going to ask things and present things that you just do not understand and you will maybe never understand. No, he wasn't autistic. He was just raised in an environment where he was the star of the show, and then he finally got into a space where his peer group was at his level or higher, and... He was being presented with challenges that he could not work his way out of because he was beholden to a system that did not love him. You know, you can fail a test with your mom and your mom's like, okay, that's, you know, we'll, we'll study up some more and do it again. But you can't do that in the real world, right? I mean, it wasn't so much the emotional intelligence. He just couldn't deal with noise. He couldn't deal with people disagreeing with him when he opened up a test that he didn't study for or whatever it wasn't prepared for he got up left the room and punched a column in the, in the wall like it's just not a, a rational way of dealing with anything he ended up breaking his hand which was admittedly kind of funny in the moment but in retrospect not great and they're gone who's going to eat the bread now the birds I'll eat the bread. I mean, maybe it was autistic, right? But these are just words for issues that people need to learn how to deal with. He's my calcium. My first floor neighbor. Good day. This is my staircase. Needs more milk. Life is hard. Nobody's going to hold your hand. I mean, you can argue that we're pretty blessed, you know, being in the societies that we are, but they come with their own set of challenges, too. Pleased to see you, mister. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I've been busy. It's still green, even though I've never seen anyone tending to them. Maybe they feed on the discarded cigarette butts. Gross. Yeah. I mean, to a point, right? It really becomes a game of what your parents are going to do for you. It reminds me of that chick in Australia or whatever, where in order to get access to her parents' um, fortune after they passed, she had to hold a job for a year. One year. That was the stipulation in the will. And she refused to do it. She sued, saying that it was inhumane. To force her to work a job for a year to get access to that money. Do you know how crazy that is? Millions of dollars. And there's no stipulation what the job is. You could serve freaking coffee. Work at McDonald's. You know, 
answer phones. Like, like what the actual crap? Just mind blowing. Yeah, like you won't necessarily like it, but my God. Yeah, and then they hit a brick wall, you know, where reality comes crashing down around them. And it's like, oh, well, now you've got to actually fend for yourself, buddy. Or maybe they're lucky enough that they never have to. Like, I'm sure there's going to be a certain level of resentment that Bill Gates isn't giving his kids, uh, you know, significant things. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure that he, they got their education paid for. They probably got a modest house paid for. You know, these are huge advantages. Like, if I had an extra quarter of a million dollars when I graduated, you know, imagine where it would be today. Anyway, kids need to be... All right, let's take out my coat. Need to be subjected to, you know, the trials of life at an early age i'm barely standing on my feet i'll take a bath tomorrow you need to be given the tools to fend for yourself any other classmates of stories that stood out to me yeah there was a, so we were writing compilers and writing a compiler is not the easiest thing to do but basically there was components to it and each component when you completed it was used in the next stage of the compiler so if you screwed up a previous stage, you had to make sure that it worked before you went on to the next one, regardless of what your grade was. And there was these two guys, um, there was Eli and Puneet. And I've got another story for Puneet later, but Eli was one of those kids who had a lot of potential, but he was distracted with his side activities to the point where he just, you know, either forgot about things or was just generally an idiot. I actually ended up getting him kicked out of one of my group projects <laughs> because of this. But anyway, ignoring that, it was hilarious to watch those two work together on this compiler project because you could actually work as teams. And they were literally fighting over the keyboard in the lab like kindergartners, <laughs> just grabbing the keyboard back and forth, refusing to cooperate on this particular project. So Puneet got expelled later and he got expelled because he worked on the part time as part of the IT group within the school and he stole some stuff but i don't know what the hell he stole because nothing in that it area was worth anything i don't know what happened to eli it was funny uh he had the reputation that he did so nobody wanted him on their group projects so when it came to group projects the professor made him go to every single team lead and ask whether or not he could join their group <laughs> in order to be given a, a solitary or a solo assignment it was just the guy was not reliable at all but it was extra funny because i had gotten kicked out of one of my other projects like i did all the paperwork i went to the dean and i drove the whole process to the end to get him kicked out of one of my group projects because there's no way in hell i was having him you know ride on my grade when he didn't contribute anything so then that event where he had to ask me <laughs> to join my group after that whole thing was absolutely amazing. Like he knew that I was just going to say no, but he had no choice. So I respect him for at least going through with the, the whole thing that he had to do to achieve his end there. But what a guy. Uh, I know a couple other people did well enough. Some worked for Nav Canada, some other stuff. I don't know if he graduated. I don't think he did. I made you some soup. Eat it up. Hell yeah. The old trusty gas stove. There's still some soup in the pot. Hell yeah. No, nobody I know became super wealthy. I mean, there's paper millionaires. Like people who own million dollar houses, which technically makes them a millionaire. The smell fills the entire kitchen. I grab the largest dish from the closet under the sink and pour myself a bowl. It's not much, but it's enough. I don't remember the last time I've eaten a home dinner. Oh, I know one guy who's trying to disprove Einstein. <laughs> Let's see. My weirdest day of school? I don't know. Most of my weird days came around. This guy's name is Jurek. Came around uh, the guy who punched the column's antics. Hey, buddy. It's nice to not be killing these things for a change. Got so much fabric. I'm very tired. I prefer to lay down in a regular bed. I need a key in my own house. Did I give a speech? No, I didn't even go to the graduation. They mailed me my... My diploma. How do I... I'm not going to some, like, three-hour friggin' masturbation fest. Like, I just didn't care. Where's my key? One of the things my friends like about me is that if I say I'm going to be somewhere, I will be. And I never say maybe. It's either yes or no, or I will find out and let you know. I will time you out, Cat Jam. My parents didn't talk to me about it, no. How long should we time out Cat Jam for? Where the heck's my key? How does this guy not have a key to his own house? 15 minutes. All right, let's do it. 
done. Where's the key? Am I gonna get stuck in the epilogue? Just unable to get out? Oh, there we go. It's my bed. The white crumpled sheets look as if it just woken up. At last. I feel my sore legs buckling underneath me. My body becoming heavy and overwhelmingly lethargic. It was a grueling journey. 37 days of human torment. A sedating warmth washes over me. A warmth of security and happiness. And story about a girl who's weird in your class? Alright, so first of all, software does not have a lot of women in school, in the classes. There were three in total out of 200, okay? One of them was unstable. She said something dumb like, uh, what was it? You can't tell that war is bad until you've experienced it. And I knew that she meant that you can't tell how bad war is until you've experienced it. But the phrasing prompted somebody to just say, you can't tell being stabbed is bad until you've experienced it. And the class just lost it. Anyway, uh, the other one was some like middle-aged Asian lady, probably doing a career shift of some variety. And then the other person I didn't really associate with. I don't know, man. Wait, why don't I look all freakish and weird? I have so many questions. Was this the good ending? Are there endings? The rustle of the woods stretching away to the horizon kept the stranger awake for a long time. There's two major endings, okay. Eventually fatigue washed over him and the man fell into a deep, much desired dream. Burning the tree opened the road home for many anguished inhabitants of the forest. Only three outcasts dressed in old rags and scraps lamented over its charred remains. The woman living with the chickens stayed in the village to tend to her sick sister. One day she heard a clatter coming from her sibling's room. When the chicken lady ran into the room, she found the door broken and the chamber empty. Only the well-worn bed and an old blanket remained of her sister. When left to her own devices, the chicken lady's sister freed herself and set out to hunt for fresh meat. Piotrek rose above the treetops in his rocket made out of scrap. He smiled as, peeking through the small plastic window of his spaceship, he saw the Milky Way stars moving away at huge speed. Next bridge episode is going to be lit. Does anybody even look at those? The barricaded cottage of the swamp became a prison for the three children. The oldest boy, kept locked in his room following his escape attempt, would long remember his only journey through the woods and the visit in the house overgrown with white mushrooms. Okay, apparently this is not the quote-unquote true ending, but I don't care. Whatever. Oh! <clears throat> Funniest statement a classmate made or said? I don't know, man. Nothing jumps out at me. Oh, wild game. Not a lot of hand-holding, as they said. No real direction. Just kind of run around doing whatever. Apparently I could have gotten a different ending, but um, I don't care. <laughs> I'm satisfied with the idea. I really did not like the inventory management. My high school days. Yeah, there's a, a few events that stood out. So we had this KIRK class, which was basically the, the mentally handicapped kids or the kids with serious issues. And we called them the Kirk kids. K-I-R-K. And one of them got up on the roof of the school. It was a two-story two story building. Somehow he got up there. And eventually somebody noticed and got one of the teachers. And the teacher told the kid to get right down this instant. So the kid chose the fastest path and just jumped off of the side of the building. Survived. Wasn't uh, happy with it, but he did do the thing. And then we had these big concrete bleachers with a guardrail on the back made out of square steel and some kid was doing the tight walk tight walk on it and this other kid just screamed out like jump you pussy and the kid doing the tight walk rope walk cracked up and slipped but fortunately fell off the correct side and then there was another case where this one kid came to school and beat up some other kid with a can of SlimFast. The, uh, the bully in this situation was fairly large, so there was obviously a statement being made there. We had the drug dogs in a couple of times, but it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, those are the main ones. The, uh, the other school I was in was butted up against a forest, like a public... Uh, public forest and some guy came up to the back of the chain link fence and flashed all the kids and so the next week there was a whole bunch of ground crews there cutting all the trees back any scandals on teachers no there was a, a body chopped up in garbage bags found on a hill near the school and then there was another one found next to the dairy queen hello and it's and friends I'm just recounting all the messed up stuff that happened during my formative years. What else was there? Somebody <laughs> ran their car into this hair studio that was just across the street. Hi, the gamer. Serial killer? I don't actually know. I was too young to really care. 
I mean, that was during the whole 9-11 thing as well. So that was a pretty wild occurrence. What else do we have? There was some stupid stuff that some kids did. Like uh, we had a computer engineering class and it was basically just take all the random parts that the school had around and build PCs out of it and make little circuit boards and whatever. And one of the kids was trying to wire up like every single fan that they had into one PC. But of course the, the power supply didn't have the voltage to drive all those fans. So he had the bright idea of splicing a paper clip onto a wire and just jamming <laughs> the electrical side. Okay. He didn't actually hurt himself, which was good, but whatever nonsense he pulled there broke a wire in the, the ceiling and took down half the lab. And there were cases where we had these Bunsen burners, right? And they've got an oxygen feeder on the bottom and you unscrew the, the feeder and it lets more oxygen into it. You get a bigger flame, right? Kind of fun. But uh, somebody didn't realize that it doesn't actually have a way to stop it at the bottom. It just pops out. So what ended up happening was they unscrewed it all the way and it dropped out and just fire started pouring everywhere. What else? No, Cat Jam was timed out for 15 minutes. There's always small little things, right? Like kids would run to the door after recess and one person stiff armed the window by accident and ended up slicing up their arm pretty good. Any memories I hated from it as a kid? I mean, sure, there's frustrations, but I mean, looking back, these are just educational moments. I mean, I had uh, somebody step on my finger when we were playing volleyball and rotate it 180 degrees. And I called my mom, I was uh, you know, in tears or whatever and dealing with the pain. And I'm like, my finger's broken, we have to go to the hospital. And she's like, it's probably just sprained. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's rotated 180 degrees. I don't know. Yeah, the uh, when they rotated it back, that was probably the worst pain I've ever experienced. Like the amount of violence I wanted to unleash on the doctor was significant. It was kind of a weird reflective moment to be put in that situation. I've had a whole bunch of stitches and whatever else. How did my finger get rotated? So I was playing volleyball and I dove for the ball and I hit it, you know, bump it. And my fingers were like this on the ground. And a large lady, girl or whatever, wasn't as fast as I was. And she ended up stepping my finger and, you know, just the act of like step and then roll combined with her weight resulted in that outcome. Yeah, lots of stitches. But I mean, I've never had to deal with anything super major. I was a military kid, so I moved every year. Oh, these are all from the same, like across my entire schooling adventure. No, I don't think I'm going to stream anymore today. I had only intended to stream for like two hours, but it's five now. I want to do a little more studying. Go eat. I might be on tonight because I'm an addict, but I do want to punch through some more subjects. You're right, Cat Jam. I mean, Darkwood, pretty cool. Definitely a lot longer than I expected. I'm never going to play it again. I could not care less what the true ending is. I don't actually like games that have multiple endings, really. Dishonored was one game that really pissed me off. Because in order to get the quote-unquote good ending, you had to play in a very specific way. Yeah, I did beat the game. I gotta play Stalker 17 times. There's actually a mod for that game called Gamma that I kind of want to play. But I'm not going to play a long-winded RPG like that for a while. I mean, 140 hours on Witcher 3, more than enough time. Yeah, if you want the Stalker experience, just play Metro. Metro's really good. Metro was the game, like Metro 2033 was the game that made me realize the games could be truly cinematic. Like the graphical quality at that time was unbelievable. It's Ukrainian, so. Like there was just something about the gun flashes and the new tech that they had at the time. And I had my brand new video card. It was just a wild experience. My okay, next game is probably going to be Marvel's Midnight Suns. I'm going to nerd it up a bit. I've got some VR stuff coming down the pipe. Lone Echo 2. Asgard's Wrath. The Serious Sam series. Probably the Talos Principle. And I will never play Mountain Blade unless I am paid a significant amount of money. Sorry, Cat Jam. You're on your own. Anyway, a bridge version of this playthrough will be up soon. There's already six parts there. There's also the regular playthrough. So if you want to see the full unedited playthrough, you can go for that. But if you want something that's a little less uh, less boring, in my opinion, there's the abridged one. You paid me 45 bucks. I'm going to let you on in a secret with this parasocial relationship. <laughs> Paying me doesn't buy you power. All right. Who's out there today? Be careful, Kajim. You're going to get turned into a purgatory prisoner like 
chat guy. All right. Have yourselves a great night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed the stories. With any luck. See you next time.